Now we've discovered that the slope-intercept form is really very useful. What if we have an equation in some other form and we want to rewrite it in slope-intercept form? Well, I can explain the process really, really quickly, but actually doing the process can be a little bit more complicated. First we solve for y, or the independent variable more generally, and then we simplify as much as possible. You can see why this is a little bit more complicated than this two-step process makes it sound, because solving for y is often many steps, and simplifying as much as possible may also be many steps. So let's see some examples where we're coming from the other forms. Here's an equation in standard form, 5x minus 3y equals 45. Suppose we want to write that in, in slope-intercept form. So I've got my 5x minus 3y equals 45. First I have to solve for y. So I'll subtract 5x from both sides. I'll have negative 3y equals negative 5x plus 45. And then I'll divide both sides by negative 3. And I'll get y equals, well, negative 5x plus 45 over negative 3. And now I need to simplify this. There are two approaches I could take to simplifying this. I could rewrite the division as multiplication by the reciprocal. So here I'm dividing by negative 3. That's the same as multiplying by negative a third. And now I distribute. And I have negative a third times negative 5x plus negative a third times 45. And that works out too. You can use your calculator for this step if you'd like. 5 thirds x minus 15. I can also just think of this as distributing the division. So negative 5x plus 45 over negative 3. That's negative 5x over negative 3 plus 45 over negative 3. That's, well, negative 5 over negative 3, that's 5 thirds x. 45 over negative 3, that's negative 15. Either way, I end up with y equals 5 thirds x minus 15. Okay. So, in this example, simplifying was kind of the hardest part. Let's see another example. Suppose we want to write this equation in slope-intercept form. Right, this is in point-slope form right now. We might decide we want to start simplifying first. That is, we might decide to start by distributing the two-fifths. And we'll get y minus 6 equals two-fifths x minus 3 times two-fifths is going to be six-fifths. OK, and now we're solving for y. We'll add 6 to both sides. And we'll get y equals 2 fifths x. Ooh, what's this going to work out to? We'll have negative 6 fifths plus 6. Make that a fraction just because it looks weird to have both fractions and decimals in the same equation. So plus 
24 fifths. 2 fifths x plus 24 fifths is our equation in slope-intercept form. This one actually ended up a little bit easier because we didn't have to make that weird distribute the division move.